Hey, it's Scott Brown with Connie and Dick Service Center here in Claremont, California. And here I'm, I'm wanting to talk to you a little bit about this new tool. This is the U-Activate from AES Wave. You got to check this thing out. This thing is pretty awesome. Uh, I've got a unit here. This is the original uh, U-Activate device. Uh, and it's been a go-to unit uh, for, forever. I've had this for probably uh, at least 10 or 15 years or so. Uh, pretty awesome tool. It's got a bunch of adapters uh, to, to plug in, but let me just explain for a minute what it actually does. So it basically will go in place of a relay. That's its primary uh, uh, focus here. It comes with a lot of uh, adapters here for all the common relay circuits, either four or five pin. But to just review for a second, a relay is a controlled switch. Um, it uses small current, small amount of current, maybe through a module or whatever, to turn on the relay that's handling higher load, higher current. So uh, this is your most basic uh, diagram here. You have a control circuit, 85 and 86. Depending on the manufacturer, they could be controlling or driving this high and this side is low, permanently low, uh, right to ground. Um, or it could be that this side is high, switched high um, with, a, with a key, maybe through ignition, and then the control side goes to a module and that module pulls it to ground. Nevertheless, it's trying to close this switch, okay? Well, if you've got, uh, you've got B plus coming in on one side, and then you've got 87 going out to your load on your other side, um, the most basic common uh, circuit like this would be a fuel pump, uh, in-tank fuel pump. Um, it, this, this, is, this tool will make it very, very quick and, and simple for you to actually analyze and split this system up. So this is what this, the unit looks like. It's got two LEDs up here at the top, 87A and 87, and then you've got a three banana jacks, four millimeter jacks up at the top for each of those circuits, including terminal 30. So you've got 30 here. So one of my go-tos is a car gets towed in. We just had one come in the other day. I didn't even need to go to the wiring diagram, just open up the underhood uh, power distribution block, found the fuel pump relay, found the connector, plugged it in, and I could see right away I had 30, I had power coming in here, and this circuit was going to the fuel pump, and I could tell that right away because this light was lit up. When you switch this little test light switch over, that's gonna close this circuit and allow you to, or close the circuit across the, the bulb. The bulb is working as a, a slight load. If that turns on, then you've got a complete circuit. Next thing you can do is turn the key on or go to crank and see if you get a drive from the fuel pump relay. And you know that, the, or drive from the computer, driving the fuel pump relay. If you can see it's being controlled, boom, you've got a, a ton of information. This particular car, it actually, it lit up. It ended up having uh, low fuel. And the way we determined that, we put a current probe on here and we noticed when we turned it on, ran current through here, less amperage than what we were guessing. We only had a couple of amps. Uh, we threw the scope on it real quick just to see with the speed of the pump. This pump was spinning very, very fast. Fuel gauge said 60%. We figured it probably needed some fuel. So we put about a half a gallon in it and we were able to turn the key and start it up. But cars that come in and say the fuel pump, you suspect the fuel pump's bad, it's not working. If you plug this in, you turn this switch on and that light's not lit up, then you either have a lack of power here, which you can test pretty quickly with your DVOM, or if you've got power there, then you've got an open circuit to the back. Now, one of the cool things here is that this now has a switch to go to a speaker instead of the light, because in the past, this is the way I would test. I'd hook it up, I'd have this thing hanging down, down you know, while I'm crawling under the car to try to watch this light uh, while I'm maybe tapping or wiggling on connectors or whatever to see if I've got a, a circuit problem. Well, now I can just walk to the back of the car with the speaker set up, give the tank a whack, and if I hear it beep, beep, that tells me that I've got something wrong inside the tank. Uh, likely the, the fuel pump brushes are bad or what have you. Um, these little lights down here, of course, you've got the LED, the control circuit, to let you know, hey, is this circuit being controlled or being told to, to turn on? Uh, so you can monitor that real quick. Pretty awesome tool. 
Um, these guys, I'd known these guys for many, many years, uh, probably about 30 years now or more. They build some awesome stuff and uh, we work together. I support them, they support me. I urge you to check this thing out. Uh, if you're a diagnostic tech and you want to uh, add some efficiency or proficiency to your diagnostics, then you can, um, you can really apply this. Now, I would love to do some more videos to help them, uh, help young technicians understand a little bit more about how to utilize this or how to leverage this. Uh, if you've got any questions or you've got a, a request for a type of a test, maybe doing a short check or what have you, let me know. I'll put a video together to kind of walk through that. So um, I thank you for watching. So for more information about the U-Activate or anything else that AES Wave sells, go to aeswave.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the other side.